The weather has helped the situation here. A lovely summer's day in Motherwell this evening for two teams who hopefully will provide the fans with uh, some welcome good football. Motherwell, this is the second week in a row that John Boyle has decided to drop the prices. Five pounds for adults and a pound for the kids to come and watch Scottish football. And he certainly has the right idea as Motherwell mount the first challenge. Here's a chance for Owen Coyle in and goal. Tries to chip the goalkeeper. Beautiful play by Owen Coyle. And the early chance to the home side. Well, Coyle obviously seen Steve Dykstra coming towards him and decided just a delicate chip would be enough, but unfortunately, just slightly off target, Coyle straight up there, knew exactly where the goal was, but precision just a couple of inches wide of Steve Dykstra's left-hand post. There's been some good passing on show and certainly some good footballing ideals from Motherwell, but as yet... To prove the point, well, there was good build-up play in the middle of the park. No goals as yet. Here's the ball into the box. Ian Ross on the end of it. Owen Coyle. Coyle has a second chance. Here's Ross. Tries to drive it. Took a deflection. Goal for Motherwell. Kai Nyserin opens the scoring for Motherwell. A couple of minutes before half-time. And just as we were talking about the time it would take Nyserin to develop a partnership with Owen Coyle. Well, Ian Ross... Just hoping to put that back into the danger area. Lovely piece of play. Ross opting for the shot. Dykstra failed to hold. Wasn't a dangerous ball to start with, and it looked as if Ross was struggling to keep it in play. We took full advantage of Coyle's flick back, and Dykstra wouldn't be happy. Steve McMillan in the jostle with Pasquale, and he comes off best. Yet again, McClare picking it up. There's a chance for a drive. Brian McClare, good save, Dykstra. And McClare's intention clear for all to see. But the story of the afternoon is Motherwell's midfield is dominating this game and picking up all the loose ball. Now Matai, can he get the good cross in? There's your answer. There's a chance just past the post. Well, there'll certainly be questions asked in the Dundee United defensive area. Great ball by Rob Matai did exactly what was asked of him and Kai Nysenin just the deftest of flicks inches past the right hand post of Dijkstra beautiful ball in lovely head flick lovely ball by Owen Coyle Ross trying for the quick one Ryan McClare arriving late here's Rob Matai can he get the shot he can well, Rob Matai same from FC Volendam and the 23-year-old has certainly provided some excitement for these Motherwell fans off target there but he's been well in control in the midfield area along with Brian McClare and Simo Valakari Ross to Coyle, Coyle just trying to flick that round, lovely ball inside, Shavuti, this could finish it, he failed to connect, and that really should have been game set in match for Motherwell, Eli Shavuti missing a golden opportunity, lovely skill by Owen Coyle, beautiful pass, Shavuti onside, all he had to do at this point, he took a touch, may well have been better, in fact Morris Mile pass deserves great credit, his block denying Shavuti the second goal for Motherwell, Shavuti did actually get the shot in, Lovely touch again by McClare and Shavuti. McClare playing the quick one. Here's a chance for them to kill the game off. Ian Ross has Shavuti there. Steps inside him. That's a perfect finish. Oh, it's inches past the right-hand post. Ian Ross had done everything right. And it looked as if it was heading towards the goal. Well, this would have certainly finished Dundee United off. He steps inside Mark McNally. Right-footed shot. It looked as if it was goal-bound. Beautiful skill by Ross. Dykstra beaten. And Ross denied Motherwell's second goal in this game. I think that it was quite good. We kept the ball, we tried to play passing passing game, and we created a couple and a half where we passed it around and got through and got a couple of opportunities. But you know, over, a, over the course of 90 minutes, we didn't pass it well enough, and we didn't do enough when we had the ball. 
and uh, you know there's, there's a lot of things but that's the, the go on between the players and myself. Yeah, well done to Motherwell tonight, three points to them and Craig at the end, the Motherwell fans absolutely delighted with that result and rightly so. Yeah, so they should be uh, looking at the, the game there, it looked as if Dundee United were hardly in the, uh, the Motherwell half at all and it looked to be a, a deserved uh, result for, for Motherwell. And J Jim United, they just seem to have lost a winning habit. Yeah, they've got, they've got bad defensive problems, they're not scoring. Um, Tom McLean clearly unhappy there, I think he, he's putting a brave face on it, I think these players will suffer this week at Tannadice, but uh, they have serious problems uh, down there, stranded at, down at the bottom of the league. It's not good enough for them. Uh, Jim McLean's uh, his brother, but um, he'll have to do something quickly to keep him off his back. When we see the goal, Craig, fun and games in the United defence, Pasqual, we're not quite sure what he was trying to do here. Yeah, this wasn't good defending. Uh, this should have been cleared at, at that point there, and again, that point again, and, and of course the ball has fallen to uh, a young lad in front of goal, and, mm. and, and he stuck it away well. A significant improvement from Motherwell tonight, you would have to say. Yeah, I think so, but I think that it's uh, quite a coincidence that, that there's a bit of turmoil behind the scenes at Dundee United and, and also at Celtic, and these seem to be the teams just now that uh, aren't quite fulfilling their potential, and I think that sometimes off the park things can, can trouble the players as well. And Jim, these the United for change people, they don't seem to be, want to go away. No, they're not going to go away. I mean, they, they want a bigger say in this club. They, they say they've got money to invest in the club, and I think that a, any club in Dundee United's position should take whatever's on offer. If someone out there wants to give them two and six, take it. It's, it's two and six that they don't have or are not spending at the moment, but these people are not going to go away, and I don't think they should go away either because their club's in turmoil. Craig Brown sat there on Friday night and said that Jim and Tommy McLean could turn it around. Do you believe they both can? Um, I have my doubts. I have my doubts. I think that uh, Jim McLean, I don't know if Jim's uh, pulling the strings as much as he used to. Um, and Tommy, well, I mean, he's doing his best. His best at the moment isn't good enough. So I would have to say on all available evidence at the moment, no, they might not. OK, Jim and Craig, thanks very much.